Good afternoon, everyone. Salamu alaikum. Bonjour à tous. Uh, buenos dias desde San Martin. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Yasin Yubi. I've been one of the first students of Khalil Gibran School back when it was first founded in 1986. Uh, since then, I've been very fortunate to learn a lot through the curriculum, through the program uh, in both sports and education. Uh, the languages that we learned in school, not just from our teachers, but also from interacting with students from a plethora of countries has been a very, very important part of building my life and building my career. And I owe that to the school. Uh, one of the most important factors of Khalij Brown School and growing up there besides the curriculum was the fact that there was an international set of students as well as teachers. And I felt very fortunate that when I went home, my father and my mother were also a very important pillar of my growth and my development. So with a mix of a perfect growth and development pattern at home and at school with the curriculum that Khalid Gibran School offered since 1986 and now transforming into the British curriculum for uh, the last, I want to say, 12-15 years, I think that uh, you definitely cannot go wrong with the type of program that is offered over there. One of the most uh, important memories of my childhood and growing up in Khalid Gibran School was the fact that the people that work there at the school, not only the teachers, but the drivers, the maids, the housekeepers, are all like family to me still until this day. And no other school that I've experienced, even in the university, taught us that. The level of family orientation is extremely important. The respect for everyone from every culture and every job and every religion is very important. And these are all things that you can only learn at Khalid Gibran School as long as you have a proper foundation at home as well. Now, thanks to my education at Khalil Gibran School and thanks to my education at home, I've been very fortunate to be able to travel, to experience um, uh, from a work standpoint my passion in the industry. I work in the restaurant business. I've also been very lucky to come back to Morocco in 2016 and 17 and work side by side with my old teachers and my old uh, classmates uh, in Morocco. I've also been able to work in Mexico City and Las Vegas. So thank you Khalil Gibran School for everything. Thank you to my father and thank you to my mother for everything that you have done for my life and I owe everything to the people and to the places that I've mentioned. everyone. My name is Reem Benouahi. I am 23 year old. I come from Morocco and I'm currently in my fourth year in medical school in Germany. I have spent all my childhood in KGS and to be honest I feel lucky and very very glad that my parents had made that choice. From kindergarten until the 10th grade the spectrum of knowledge was really huge. I had the opportunity to study the Moroccan system and take its national exams as well as the assessment English tests and the IGCSE provided and therefore acknowledged by Cambridge. I also had a great chance to spend every year with new students from different parts of the world, American, African, European, and sometimes even Australian and Asian. Thankfully, we were taught English from a very, very early age that it wasn't a problem at all to make friendships um, with these people in the early grades. Um, our highly qualified teachers always made sure we looked out for each other and organized field trips that weren't only interesting and informative, but that also strength our, strengthened our friendships and made us come very, very uh, close, made us come closer. It really felt more like family. Going to school felt like somehow, in a way, also being at home, which was um, kind of really great. And um, yeah, to be honest, throughout the 13 years I spent in KGS, I have never been bullied, uh, neither from the older grades nor my classmates. Uh, it has never, ever come to violence. And um, well, of course, there were misunderstandings and little insignificant shenanigans, but that's a natural thing between kids. I would like to thank, at this point, all the staff and teachers who always knew when to interfere and not let the misunderstandings turn into fights and when not to interfere and teach us kids how to stand up for our little rights. Mm. When I look back at my very, very young career, I realize that I have learned the most at Khalil Gibran School. Three languages, Arabic, English and uh, French, scientific terms and literature in Arabic and English, sports and what I think is also very, very important, if not most important, 
through the very colorful bouquet of students, tolerance, acceptance, huge respect and understanding for other cultures. I'm very, very thankful to have studied in KGS. I hope more kids in Morocco would get the opportunity to experience what I have, uh, to get so many tools. The because going to KGS already means that you are looking into a very bright future. I would also like to thank um, all the staff members uh, at this point, uh, our director, everybody at the administration, our um, head chef <laughs> at the canteen, our nurse, our school bus drivers, like everybody who has made it really a very harmonical time, a very peaceful time, and um, who really took care of us and um, loved us so much as their own children. Thank you very, very much. Assalamu alaikum, KGS. Uh, my name is Adam Mature. I'm a former student of uh, Khalil Gibran School. It's a pleasure to be uh, connected to all of you, get an opportunity to talk to you and tell me, tell you guys about my time at KGS. I can tell you for sure that KGS has been the most amazing, unique experience in my entire life. I've been in many schools, many institutions um, all over the world. However, for me, being at KGS has always been that extra, extra special time in my life where we've been able to meet so many different types of people ranging from different countries, different cultures, different um, communities of familyness and you know getting to know each other better. KGS was very important to me for the fact that I was able to meet so many so many important people in my life. When it came to the friends, I remember friends that, that, that I had, um, that I still have, we're still in touch. Mohammed Asad, you have Michael Al Yamali, you have Kina Taha, Nada Khaldi, all of these people just uh, gave us a great time at, uh, at KGS. I remember also being really close to my teachers and the administration as well. I believe one of the unique things at KGS was that you had the experience, they gave you that experience or that opportunity to actually be creative, be free, and actually express yourself. I think that really helped us at that young age to really grow to who we are today, both from a social and professional level as well. I'm happy today to say that I speak both French, Arabic, other languages as well. So this is wholly um, attested to, or it's, it's only um, possible because of my time at KGS. Um, I, I remember my last year at KGS, this was like a, a month or two before I left KGS. They gave us an opportunity to actually draw and paint and be creative on our classroom wall. They, you, you guys gave us an entire wall to actually paint and draw. I remember it was a big boat that we, we actually, um, we actually um, drew on. So it was just amazing which school, which, which teacher, with, which educational center gives you, that, uh, gives you that freedom to do so. So for me, that was really special as well. You gave us that chance to really be who we are, to be free and really make the best of um, our, our time there. I have very fond memories of the sport activities we had. I remember the first time um, I, when, I, when I started uh, my time at KGS, remember we had PE for a couple of times and then the coach told me, I wanted to see your father. I, I was very scared of him. Why do you want to see my father? He told me, I just want to see your father. So my father came over, they met, and apparently he wanted me to join the football team. And was, that was the beginning of a very, very um, exciting time for me. We had the opportunity to actually go and play in many tournaments. So we felt like professionals. This is a very fond memory I have when it came to playing sports at KGS and being part of the school team. I remember before we had matches, we were usually given a permission slip your parents have to sign, and then that gives you the opportunity to actually go and play with the team. So I remember when it was time for a match, how we just basically threw our, uh, threw our permission slips at the teacher, to unceremoniously took our bags, you know, on our kits and just slow motion walk and, you know, went to do our business. So I think that was something really, really, I, I still have close to my heart. 
and um, I'm glad to say that um, I'm still interested in sports, although I don't play as much as I used to, but alhamdulillah, I'm still engaged in trying to um, stay fit. Today, I'm glad to say that I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the leading IT company in the Gambia. We're, we're an internet service provider and a technology company dealing with um, services uh, portfolio from web design to data center to vehicle tracking to software development, um, you name it. So it's, it's a really exciting time. We've got an opportunity to work with international artists such as um, Akon in his Akon Latin Africa initiatives where we've worked together closely you know, to implement projects for uh, lightning and solar and renewable energy. And, you know, we build all these relationships and we're doing much more. So we're, we're, we're happy to know that. The years that we spent at, U, uh, at, at KGS actually built us, built us, prepared us to, for who we are today. I have to thank the administration, I have to thank the teachers, I have to thank all my friends and um, colleagues that are still there and that were there for the experience we had, both good and bad. So, you know, Melika, um, I remember um, Mrs. Maria, Mr. Luyubi, all of you guys. It's just been a pleasure. I still remember Mr. Russell as well. So I just have to say a big, big thank you to KGS. And I'm happy to be associated with you and I'm still am. So hopefully if I come to Morocco, I will visit inshallah. Shukran, 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 bazaar. Ali, bye-bye. Merci. Hi, I'm Sana Lush, and I would like to congratulate the class of 2019 at Khalil Gibran. Uh, very good job, guys. And uh, let me assure you that uh, university life is pretty hectic. However, it's pretty fun as well. So um, I wish you guys all the best. Um, I would like to talk to you guys about my experience at Khalil Gibran. Um, it was definitely something that I hadn't expected. I've learned a lot of good things and um, had a lot of fun as well. I had awesome teachers, uh, teachers who were working hard, were supporting me from day one. Um, I also had very, very nice classmates. They made it so much more fun. Um, Khalil Gibran has the staff that you know that any school would want. They they're just so nice. They they greet you whenever you come inside of the building, and it's just awesome. I just love it. Um, when it comes to all the courses that I've taken, um, two of the courses that I really enjoyed was English literature. Um, English literature was given by Miss Maria. I would like to really thank Miss Maria from the bottom of my heart for everything that she's done and for everything that she has been doing for everyone recently as well and currently. Um, thanks to you, I was able to excel in uh, English literature and I even took it at higher level in my uh, last, few of, of last few years of high school. And um, a very, very, very big thank you to uh, Miss Anuba. Thanks to you, I was able to excel in uh, biology. You've taught me a lot of great things. Um, I look at biology very differently than uh, I did a couple of years ago. Um, because of you, I was definitely assured that I was going to take biology on a higher level in um, my IB program. And um, I definitely do not regret it. I even uh, decided to follow even the chemistry and physics track because my interest in love towards biology has grown thanks to you. Um, now I'm currently enrolled at the University of Debrecen. I am uh, gonna start the program of medicine. Um, which direction I'm going towards to, I have no idea. Currently my interest is in neurology or gynecology, um, but who knows? The future can be very, um, yeah, unexpected. We don't know what can what might happen. However, uh, my advice to all of the um, graduates from class of two thousand nineteen is that no matter what you pick, make sure you pick a program or at least a future direction that has your passion in it, because um, 
you want to do a job where uh, your passion is inside of it and you'll love it every single day. So um, Khalid Gibran made me realize that and I'm very, very blessed that I was a student there and I will always carry um, KGS on my profile with pride. Um, so basically that was it. I am very blessed for everything that Khalid Gibran had done for me. It's a great school. For any new upcoming student, I would like to say you're in good hands. You have nothing to worry about. And especially with Miss Marie on your side, you're fine. Bonjour. I'd like to express my gratitude for the education I received at Khaljubran. Congratulations to everybody on your graduation. I'll just take a few moments to talk about my experience. Um, for me, the greatest value from Khaljubran was the exposure to the international community, from people from all walks of life, from my teachers from the first grade on to graduation, and my fellow classmates, much of whom I'm still in touch with, uh, who are placed all over the globe, uh, living fulfilling lives and pursuing their careers. So besides the education, the sports, the sense of competition, the camaraderie, it's important to understand that there are certain values that are instilled, such as empathy and also strive and the ability not to settle for complacency. As a wise man, Mr. Fuad Yubi once said, be gung-ho and think for yourself. On that note, I'd like to read a verse from a poem, which is actually Khaj Nibran's mission, it's uh, from the series, The Prophet, on teaching. And it's a small excerpt that I'd like to read. I have it bookmarked and highlighted. The teacher who walks in the shadow of the temple among his followers gives not of his wisdom, but rather of his faith and his lovingness. If he is indeed wise, he does not bid you to enter the house of his wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your mind. So the important message from this and the best, the best thing about the education is to have you be a critical thinker. Think for yourself, be motivated, and pursue your dreams. Thank you. everyone, my name is Ala Alami Idrisi. I am an electrical engineer working in uh, a multinational company, Vinci Energy, uh, here in Morocco, uh, working as a project lead engineer in a five stars hotel, uh, Tazi Palace in Tangier. Uh, that, that means we're working on the electrical distribution of this project. Uh, lighting, uh, the, the, the distribution of the cables, everything that is related to electricity. Uh, let me tell you about my experience in Khalid Gibran School. Well, I can say it's one of the best experiences. You get to learn many languages, to meet different cultures, uh, different people, you develop your personality. And I really want to thank all the teachers who have uh, worked with us and helped us to be who we are today. And uh, I want to say thank you so much. And I really, really miss all of them. My name is Awature. I am from the Gambia and I spent six years at Khali Gibran School. Um, looking back um, over the past couple of years, I think some of my fondest memories are from Khali Gibran School. I think there are many places where you can get a good education, but I think um, the experience at Khali Gibran goes way beyond that. Uh, one of the things I really, really liked was that it was such a multicultural environment. I made friends from all over the world. Um, I mean, to whom to this very day I'm still very close to. Something else that I really appreciated at Khalid Gibran was, was the teachers. Um, one of my favorite teachers was Miss Maria. 
and the other day she she uploaded um, a picture of her two sons on Facebook and that took me back to some really good memories because I remember um, that she used to talk about her her sons in class and one time she mentioned that one of her sons had been diagnosed with diabetes and that I mean it she was really heartbroken as a mother and I say this to show that I mean I think the teachers at Khalid Gibran don't see teaching as just a job. There's a real passion behind it, and they and they do connect with their students in many ways. And and her letting us into her personal um, life like that was one way that she connected with us. And I that's something I really appreciate um, in the teachers at Khalid Gibran. One of the teachers I also was really fond of was Madame Ramel, my FLO teacher. I think she was so affectionate with me that my brother would often complain that, you know, that was favoritism all the time. So um, I, I really, really, really am grateful for um, the teachers that nurtured me during my time at Khalid Gibran and also the other staff. Um, I don't know if um, Boazza is still there. He was always um, willing to go to the Hanout and get snacks for us. I don't know if Brahim is still there who was at the gate. So I'm I'm really, really appreciative of all the staff at the Khalid Gibran School. Um, it, it was honestly um, some of the best years of my life and I'm truly, truly grateful um, for that experience. So after I left Khalid Gibran, I, um, I went to university in Ghana for four years where I studied political science, English and economics. After that, I joined um, the NGO sector for a few months where I worked with um, various NGOs through the NGO umbrella body in the Gambia. Um, then I then moved on to the finance ministry for a couple of years. After that, I moved to Sing Singapore um, to pursue my master's in public policy. I think that was the last time I um, engaged with Khalid Gibran, actually. Um, actually, and during that time, I was actually fortunate to meet two former um, alumni of Khalid Gibran School who are very close friends of mine. One was from Brunei, um, Nazira and her family, um, who was so good to me whilst I was, I was at Singapore. And then after they left, another close friend whom I met at Khalid Gibran also moved to Singapore um, from Pakistan. That was Madiha. So the, the relationships that I that I um, made in Khalid Gibran are so precious to me. Um, so after Singapore, I moved back um, home and rejoined the Ministry of Finance, while where I was working on public finance issues and budgetary issues. Um, and um, after a year, I joined. Um, my current organization, which is the Collaborative Africa Budget Reform Initiative, CABRI, in short, and we are an international organization that works on public finance in the region, the region being Africa. So we work with finance ministries um, on public finance reform and so forth. And currently, um, in my current position, I do a lot of traveling. I do um, quite a bit of engagement with people from from all over the region and beyond. And I think a lot of the soft skills, a lot of the tools that I do use today to engage with these people in a way that's sensitive to context and culture and so forth, you know, was nurtured during my time at Khalid Gibran. So, uh, you know, for this current students and students graduating, don't underestimate um, those experiences while you're there. Um, I think you're gonna you're going to see that it's very valuable when you go out into the real world and you have to deal with different types of people from all walks of life. So I am such a proud alumnus of Khalid Gibran and I'm grateful to everyone that I met there because, I mean, those experiences have shaped who I am today in many, many, many ways. Hello, I'm uh, Ryan Liubi. I'm 19 and pretty sure most of you at least remember me if uh, you don't know me. Uh, 
Yeah. I've uh, been at Khadij Baran since I was two and a half, three. And uh, I miss a lot of things. I miss a lot of people. I miss a lot of my uh, teachers from high school. Uh, I'd like to know how you guys are doing. And yeah, I'm uh, currently um, in New York, which is why I can't visit too often because it's a bit far. And uh, it's a bit tough too. Uh, here, uh, it's nothing like Morocco. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, you can probably expect that. There are a lot of Moroccans, but uh, yeah, it's nothing, nothing like home really. I'm uh, currently studying at uh, New York uh, City Tech, which is a university um, for programming. I'm also uh, on the side learning, um, you know, art related stuff and uh, music related things, which I think I'm in the right city for that. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, now that you, you guys have graduated, uh, you can uh, go further. And um, the last thing I'd like to say is uh, before you make any choices, make sure uh, you do a lot of research <laughs> to save a lot of time and money. And yeah, and uh, happy graduation, everyone. My name is Marwan Abdul Shafi. I'm a KGS graduate of 2017. I've studied four years in KGS and I had a, I got introduced to beautiful friends, beautiful professors. Uh, technically, I've made a family over there. I joined Al Akhwan University in 2017 as a freshman. I've spent two years in Al Akhwan University. This is my second year in Al Akhwan University so far. After after my first year in Al Akhwan University and after achieving a high GPA, alhamdulillah, I joined uh, the Student Ambassadors Association, where I became a student ambassador uh, and an official representer of Al Akhwan University. I might say the reason why I chose general engineering is that general engineering provides a wider vision of engineering to any engineering student. It makes uh, it makes in the engineering field a much greater field with more options to look for, more engineering branches to look to, to research on, and it, it technically uh, technically extends the engineering uh, career of any engineering student. Hello, my name is Abdul Abdul Musa. I'm 19 years old. I'm an ex student of Khalil Zabran School. I studied in Khalil Zabran since 2005 and graduated in 2018. I'm currently studying uh, B. End in Petroleum and Chemical Engineering in London South Bank University. I had some splendid years in Khalil Zabran. My choice to join Khalil Zabran School has been influenced by many factors. If we discuss the latter by order of priority, we should be starting by teaching quality and infrastructure. Subsequent two days and days of research, I learned many staggering facts about what this school has to offer to its students in terms of academic matter, from multiple professors to constantly innovated laboratories, building, teaching pedagogies. It's become an evident fact that this institution has everything to offer to students searching for an opportunity to become a part of a bigger picture. As for student satisfaction, it was clear to the extensive research that the large majority of people enrolled in KGS were immensely pleased by the teaching quality they are receiving, the heartwarming hospitality of staff, and eventually exceptional facilities and location. Last in my list is cultural diversity. As an individual who grew up in a multinational school, I have had an exceptional chance to broaden my outlook on cultures, religions, mindsets from all around the world by learning in an environment with people from all races. I hope and wish a good luck to the upcoming classes of 2019.
And also, I would like to thank Khalil Zubran School for all the opportunities that has been given to me since day one. Good morning, my name is Keenan. I am Syrian. I hold a PhD degree in legal and political sciences and a master's degree in international law and international relations. I currently live in Montreal, Canada and before that I worked in the League of Arab States in Egypt for three years. Uh, I had the honor to be a KGS student between 2001 and 2006 and allow me to say that KGS contributed positively in shaping my life. Uh, KGS is not only a place that offers excellent education, it also helps uh, students to live an international experience by meeting people and making friends from all over the world. Uh, it honestly, it's honestly a great, a great place if you'd like to invest in your kids' future. Uh, finally, thank you for having me and have a great day. Bye bye. Hi, everyone, my name is Saad Khalil. And in this small video, I would like to share my experience about my school, KGS. So I started uh, KGS when I was four in kindergarten, and I studied there for 12 years. Then I graduated and <coughs> studied dentistry in Rabat for six years. And then I moved to Germany, where I lived there for three years and did a dental specialty. So I would like to recommend all the future students <coughs> English as a, a foreign language because English opens you many opportunities in your life and I'm very thankful to all my old KGS teachers. Hi, Miss Maria. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Abdurrahman Gizawi. Uh, I used to be a, a student in uh, Khalil Gibran School in uh, 2009, doing my IG system. Uh, right now, uh, I'm finishing uh, my med school. I'm graduating this summer. I've had the most beautiful years over here, um, over there in Morocco. Uh, right now, I'm in Egypt, and uh, I'm so happy I've had this experience. Uh, I really love you guys. I really love uh, Khalil Gibran School. Have fun. Hello everyone, my name is Elenka Kalra and I was studying in KGS from kindergarten to the year 2016 and I graduated the class of 2016 with my A levels and after that I continued my studies in ESM for two years majoring in marketing and management before shifting to a Spanish university which I am currently with and I'm majoring in double bachelors in honors specialization in in uh, international business and um, I only have so much love for KGS and respect for the school that actually taught me everything and I must say that more than academic wise or educationally KGS taught me how to interact with other people how to build my communication skills and especially how to be a leader when it comes to my general life situations or professional situations as well. 
So that is the thing that I'm really grateful about when it comes to KGS. And my message for the class of 2019 would be to do your best to make sure that you use the knowledge that you have acquired, but do not forget to also use the skills that you have acquired throughout your years. May that be something that you learn with your friends, at school, with your teachers, or anywhere else. Because as I said, KGS made me a leader. So I'm sure that the same skills were inbuilt within you as well. You just need to find them and utilize them in the perfect way. And I wish everyone a good luck and I wish the upcoming classes the best of luck and with the best of wishes and take care.